Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Classic. Robert Rambles here and thank you for joining me today. We are in Far Eastern Elbion Forest at the bridge with Guard Thomas and we just turned in a couple quests to him. And we're going to head back over to the Eastfell Logging Camp. We have Prowlers and Young Forest Bears to take care of. And the, for the Eastfell Logging Camp is going to give us a couple more quests over in the same area, I'm pretty sure. So I want to grab them before we hearth back to Goldshire and turn in Guard Thomas's report. Because I think the rest of the stuff in Goldshire is going to take us to the west. And I'd like to be done in the east first because there's no conflict, there's no connecting to flight point, And it's a long, boring, straight run. You could almost put your character on auto run and walk away. But not quite. Probably from here. From the midway point, you could get away with auto run AFK. You just have to be careful not to overshoot it. Alright, there's a quest in the house back here. Sarah Timberlane. You need something? The Defias gang in Northshire wears burlap masks, but the Defias in Elwian wear linen, which I can use to make fine linen goods. Bring me fine linen bandanas, and I'll use them to fashion something for you. Defias gang members have camps pocketed throughout Elwian. We've seen quite a few Safe travels. little camps of Defias. Some of them are on this island. A lot of them were down here at Jared's Landing, and then there were some at the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch. Right now, the Karn Lake and Pumpkin Patch are going to be the closest opportunities to hunt Defias thugs. Ooh, that guy is attackable. James Clark, what is your story? We'll probably find out if I had to guess. And then Supervisor Raylene has some work for us too. Need help? I've got a real problem in my hands. I have a deadline looming for an order of lumber and I'm running out of time. The wolves and bears north of here have chased my workers away from the bundles of wood that they've already chopped. I've already talked to Deputy Rayner about clearing the animals, but I need someone to go collect the wood for me. If you could collect eight bundles of wood for me, I might just make my deadline. She's already talked to Deputy Rayner. I'm pretty sure that we are the ones who are also clearing out the wolves and bears, which is kind of funny. Alright, the bundles of wood, we've seen those. Around a couple of the trees. Uh, we should be looking north of here. Let's make sure nobody else has any quests. Everything else... Seems pretty normal. If we ever... Well met. If we ever get our... Oh, on the Paladin we'll be able to get our mount easier, but this is where we will learn the riding skill, apparently. Have to keep that logged in the back of our head. Yeah, see, here's the wood, and look at this, we can get some prowlers while we're at it. Probably too much to ask that there's also bears around here, but we'll take what we can get. I do see a young bear back there, actually. Help if we're facing the right way. Barely got that heal off in time. This guy is level 10. And we're level 8. So two levels apparently is making a pretty big difference. We need a weapon upgrade pretty badly. We have that one-handed mace, but our skill is so low that I would need to find something a little bit weaker to swing at. I don't want to swing at these guys with it because they'll probably beat the shit out of us. But we do need a weapon upgrade pretty heavily. Yeah. 
Of course, it's better when you don't spend a third of the fight facing in the wrong direction. Our inventory is full. That's not really acceptable to me. I know that there are vendors back here, so I'm just going to run back. And, um, vendor. And we'll look for wood. The wood is kind of hard to spot. It doesn't glow, it doesn't shine. Like all items in Classic, it just kind of blends into the surroundings. But, uh, one of these guys is probably a vendor. Horse breeder. You need something? You're a vendor. Alright, that's good for now. And I'm holding onto the one-hander in case we get a shield. That would be alright. Until we get a better two-hander. To have a shield equipped. I think we had one at one point that I got rid of. But it was a lower level one, so not too worried about it. See, it kind of blends in. Which I like. If you're going to send me on a pickup quest, you know, at least make me search a little bit for it, I guess. Create some kind of engagement. Collection quests can get rather boring. Pioneer boots, probably leather, if I had to guess. Yeah, leather. Was that a prowler over here or a gray wolf? Definitely a prowler. not seeing a lot of wood around here. And I know at least one of you guys said under your breath, that's what she said. One of you did it. Uh, there's some. Level 10 Prowlers can really beat our ass. One of you guys asked in the comments what kind of features that I would like to see implemented in Shadowlands, something along those lines. 
And, you know, the things that I'm looking forward to so far the most that have been announced in Shadowlands is the revamping of the leveling experience and the level squish back down to a cap of 60. So once you complete Shadowlands leveling, you're going to be level 60, uh, which I think is pretty awesome. I think they're going to have a unique level 1 to 20 experience. And then you pick the expansion that you're going to level from 20 to 50 in. Which is really cool. It's time that the beginning level experience for new players was current to the events in the world, kind of. At least that opening 20, so you get an idea of what's been going on. And then you get to pick what expansion you're going to play through on that character. And you get to experience a coherent expansion um, story content. You know, And that's going to get you all the way into Shadowlands. Whether you choose Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King or Mist of Pandaria. From level 20 to 50... The intention is that you'll play through that content co coherently. And you'll get to see, hopefully, all of the story that is on offer in that expansion. And that's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most, honestly. The level squish, uh, hopefully some big class redesigns, bringing classes closer to what they were, closer to their class identity in Classic. And just making the leveling experience more enjoyable, and even in the expansion itself, telling a coherent narrative across the expansion is also really important for me. Having a means of solo progression is really important. I want to be able to feel like the solo content that I choose to do is meaningful to empower my character and get them the gear that I want while also being encouraged to do things like raiding. I think with the introduction of things like the Horrific Visions in 8.3 and then the Tower of Torghast coming in Shadowlands, that's a good move towards difficult single-player content that can lead to progression. So that as a solo player, I can still feel challenged or I could experience the same content with a group. I think that's a really awesome feature. Hopefully it works out. We have all the prowlers we need, don't we? Yep. Now we're just killing prowlers for <laughs> experience, I guess. But we gained our level, so that's worth it. We might have some competition out here for bears and wood, though. Human warlock. Interesting. Warlock, yet another class I've never really experimented much with. But have always found intriguing from a lore perspective. I don't know if there's wood out this way. You'd think with all these trees this would be a prime location to stack some wood, but nobody's done it. Let's head back this way. They're getting all these bears, unfortunately. This one looks like it respawned all in the same area. Maybe we're just, like, missing out on all the bears, unfortunately. Um, no, that's not wood. That's not wood. Alright, let's head back this way. I don't know. I mean, on the on the overall, I, I really just... I need the classes to feel fun again in, in Shadowlands. I don't think that the classes that I have played, the Mage, the Hunter, the Paladin, at max level, I don't, I don't think they're very fun. It all feels very button mashy to me. Just wait for the button on your thing to light up and then smash it. In the meantime, smash these other buttons. It doesn't feel like I really have to pay attention to resources very much. I don't ever feel like I'm engaging in tactics while I'm playing solo. I did see that wood bundle down there, but I'm going to try to get this bear first. And hopefully the wood will be down there when we get to it.
things I also need in World of Warcraft that probably aren't coming anytime soon is just more character customization options. Actually, you know, one of the things I heard about in the Anansa Shadowlands that I was excited was that when you different races like humans are going to have sub races, and I don't know if this is something that's going to make it to release because I haven't heard much about it since. But they talked about there being sub races so that you could play a human character that actually could look like you um, racially, regardless of where you're from in the world. And I think that's really interesting. And then they showed off other models for things like trolls. Ooh, someone must have already collected this. Ooh, someone got all of these. So sad that they... Oh, Robert, you're done. <laughs> this is what happens when you guys get me talking about Shadowlands. As I totally stopped play paying attention to any of the quests that we're tracking. So we just need some forest bears. But yeah, the, so being able to choose sub-races within the race that you're in uh, that affects how they look and their facial features and skin tones and markings, I think that's really awesome. I think character customization is something that has a long way to go in WoW, seeing as how, you know, it's, it's, it's 2020 now. When are we going to get body sliders? It's great that we got bigger humans. Like, I get that. But what about, like, skinny humans? <laughs> when they first announced the Kul Tirans, they showed off a skinny human male character model that I think everyone thought was going to be playable. And I was hoping to have, like, a human mage that was, you know, kind of on the thinner side. Um, I, myself, am taller and in my youth was kind of lankier, so I was looking forward to maybe having a, a wizard character that would kind of fit that look, and then when we didn't get playable thin humans, uh, that was really disappointing to me. And I never really found out what happened to that, if that was just a misinterpretation of their plans, or if it was something that got scrapped for development time. So we have extremely fit, muscular, Arnold Schwarzenegger looking humans, and then we have big humans, you know, but we're not really representing all body types here, let's be honest. So, character model sliders for height, weight, width, musculature, etc. Like you see in games like Final Fantasy and, and Elder Scrolls Online would be a really welcome addition. But we're not going to get that in Shadowlands. We might never get that in WoW just because of limitations of the, of the engine itself. We're having a hell of a time with these bears. Uh, that warlock found three bears right over here and we're just not seeing any bears. I'm gonna have to head further south, I think. I just don't wanna fight a million prowlers on the way. We could probably just find more bears. Where do the bears turn in? I think probably back to Guard Thomas or I don't know, maybe so far back as Goldshire. We're probably going to come across more bears, especially as we hunt for uh, red linen. So let's turn this in and make sure that it doesn't chain into anything else. Greetings. Alright, here's the wood. Excellent. Thanks to you, I should be able to complete the order in time. To show my gratitude, I'd like to offer some coin. Three silver, not bad. Farewell. Alright, that doesn't chain into anything else. Let's head south here and see if we can A, find bears, and B, find some Defias people to loot for their red linen bandanas. That's a bunch of prowlers we don't necessarily need. Discovered Ridgepoint Tower and a young bear. Okay, I didn't really want this. Let's see how this works out. Level 9, both of them, so at least they're not like extremely high level. We are going to have to use this and heal ourselves up. Alright, the bear is down. Let's focus down the wolf now. Our might blessing is going to run out. And we're pulling more bear! More wolves! Great! Lovely! Spectacular! Uh, this is not great, guys. I don't really know how else to say it than that. Now we don't even have a blessing up. That's not helping us at all. 
I could really use a mana potion, I'm realizing. We're not gonna get it! <laughs> oh, darn. Where are we gonna be at? Hey, look at that! We got really lucky with where we... It's probably the only... The only uh, graveyard on this side. of There's probably a graveyard over here and a graveyard over here. And that's probably the only graveyard, so we got really lucky with our death there. Uh, we can't take on two Prowlers and a Bear, apparently. That's just too much. Let's res back here. Let's just heal up really fast. We're running low on water, unfortunately. We're going to have to... Pretty soon we'll be heading back to Goldshire. We'll just have to make sure that we actually stock up while we're there. I have a bad habit of forgetting to sell stuff and stock up. Which is... A pretty bad habit. I don't really need to loot these. I want to, but if it means pulling six more prowlers, I think I've, I've gotten what I need, which is just that we've slain the young bear. Uh, we are also looking towards heading to the pumpkin patch, I think, uh, because that's where we know about some bandits. There we go, I'll actually put our buffs on, I promise. We're going to try to avoid these murlocs. I'm really looking forward to more transmogable backpacks. So they've started doing a thing where you can transmog your cloak into a backpack. And to me that's much more visually interesting than like the cloaks in this game have never ever looked cool. It looks like you're basically wearing a blanket. You know, with all the enhancements they've made to other gear, to me the cloaks have never looked cool. And after a while on most characters, I unshow the cloak just so I can see the back of my character's armor which is usually always more detailed than the cloak and just better looking. So I like the thought of transmogging my cloak into a cool looking backpack and earning other cool looking backpack transmogs just because that makes sense from a lore perspective, like where is all my shit going? Um, <laughs> One day maybe we'll stop summoning our horses out of thin air and we'll start calling them. If you've ever played like The Witcher, uh, The Witcher 3, where you whistle for your horse and then he spawns somewhere like out of sight a little ways away and then runs towards you. Same thing with Red Dead Redemption 2. You call for your horse and then they spawn somewhere like out of eyesight and then they run to you. That's like a lot better. It takes time obviously, but it takes time to summon your mount. I would much rather have a, a realistic system of summoning my mount. Even if it could lead to weird situations. Alright, here's some Defias Bandits. Pretty sure these guys will have what we need. And they're level 8. So we should be able to take on two of them at once. My worry is that they're probably gonna run. Oh, they don't. That's perfect. Yeah, if they don't run, then we're in... Oh, look at that kick! <laughs> that was pretty damn awesome, I have to admit. Uh, 
All right, well, our lack of food and water is really starting to be an issue. They haven't dropped any bandanas yet, unfortunately. Some of our gear is starting to get broken, and the, dura the durability is low. Are these guys going to drop? I mean, I can see that they're wearing bandanas. Let's just be clear about that. Now, what their drop rate is, I don't know. Well, there's one. A at least now we know we can get them from these guys. It's reassuring. There's Princess. Oh, I didn't want them both. We're too low on mana for two of them. We are way too low on mana to be fighting two of these guys, and I don't think there's anything I can do about that. I can cast that scroll. That roundhouse kick missed us. That was good. We need to get this heal off right now. We might be okay. It's gonna, it's gonna be close. A couple more crits like that, we'd be in better shape. If we had a better weapon or the shield and the one-hander, I'd feel a little more confident. A lot of loot from these guys. We're doing okay. For not having a lot of mana or mana regen, we're doing okay. Let's focus on these guys on the outskirts. I'm worried this will pull all three, kind of. Okay, there we go. They're splitting up a little bit. Let's get them now. Alright, fair enough. Spot the thumbnail time. <laughs> 